Tibby. You know him. The little chicken and pink. Ah! But how well do we really know them? Here's 10 things about Pibby. All right, before we get into it, if you guys like these type of videos, be sure to subscribe if you aren't already and be the first to see them. Learning with Pibby is a horror short aired on Adult Swim, revolving around the fictional educational children's show character of Pibby, who escapes their show being canceled and consumed by a dark, mysterious force I'll be referring to as the Corruption. As seen in the short, the Corruption consumes and alters the worlds and characters of the shows it's invading, often giving the consumed characters disturbing features like elongated limbs and mouths, as well as the now iconic glitchy effect. The Corruption follows Pibby through many familiar Cartoon Network shows, and features characters from the network's catalog, like Finn and Jake, Fred Flintstone, and the Scooby-Doo Gang. The crossover shows present in this trailer are all from cartoons that have finished airing and no longer have new episodes releasing, leaving fans to speculate that the corruption is a physical manifestation of the cultural zeitgeist, puppeting and bastardizing the characters we know and love, or just consuming them entirely. That's a whole other video, isn't it? While the idea of a full-blown show hasn't come to fruition yet, the Funkin' community took the Pibby concept and ran with it. It, spawning multiple mods and concepts of their own. One of the earliest concepts comes from Versus Oswald creator Jake Neutron, who produced a concept song and art combo of Steven Universe called You'll Make the Change. The concept art shown in this video is what modders usually use as the basis for Boyfriend and Pibby in their respective mods, as well as the design of Steven. Jake Neutron is very supportive of modders making his concepts into mods of their own, as he's plugged multiple corruption mods through his various socials. As stated in the description of Versus Steven Universe, Jake originally planned not to make a Pibby mod at all and just stick to concepts, which seemed to be the case right up until the release of the mod and song combo Dusk Till Dawn, but we'll talk more about that a few facts in. The most popular Corruption mod is simply referred to as Friday Night Funkin' Pibby Corruption, a culmination of Jake Neutron concepts and original contributions from over 20 artists. For example, Scissor, who created the original Steven Universe Corrupted mod, is now a contributing artist on Pibby Corruption. According to the description of the Game Jolt page, the Corruption has made its way into the FNF universe, consuming all but Boyfriend. In a last moment before being consumed, Girlfriend uses her demonic powers to shield Boyfriend and his companions as long as he can win in a rap battle. Boyfriend and Pibby then team up to fend off the corruption. Though it's currently only a demo, Pibby Corruption has over 40 minutes of music and several teasers for future content. Though Spinel and Steven are based on Jake Neutron's concepts, the remaining characters are original to the mod creators. During the Adventure Time songs, the player has to hit sword notes in order to avoid being hit and taking damage. These sword notes are based on the design of Scarlet, Finn's sword throughout early seasons of Adventure Time. Unlike Steven, who takes their newest appearance like in Steven Universe the movie, Finn is designed after his early season appearance as seen by the fact that he still has both his arms and the OG sword. Though Mordecai doesn't have their own unique mechanics besides the usual health drain, it is unique to note that during their song Overworked, the health drain keeps their bar beneath the threshold to see Mordecai's danger icon. The events of Pibby Corruption happen after Pibby and Boyfriend team up, since during week 3 he already has a gun when facing off against Pico. As seen in one of Jake Neutron's concepts, Boyfriend was unable to save Pico and keeps one of their iconic Uzis as a token of remembrance. Boyfriend likely faces off against a corrupt version of their former appearance because it's a different universe. Likely the base game versus the Pibby mod like how the soft mod also crosses over with the OG game. On the official Pibby Corruption YouTube channel, there's four videos of upcoming characters and OSTs. This includes Vicky and Timmy from Fairly Odd Parents, the Animaniacs, and Tord and Tordbot from Ed's World. The OST for Corrupted Tordbot is called Boss Song 1- question mark question mark question mark introducing the concept of corrupt weeks ending in the culmination of a boss fight perhaps in the future we'll see the corruption take the form of well-known antagonists from the already present series like the ice king additionally there's a few extra teasers for upcoming content from the developers twitter like spongebob and foster's home for imaginary friends as well as a confirmation of Tankman being added through the release of the song desolate wasteland mordecai will also be getting additional songs and their current song overworked is being recomposed Pibby corrupted makes two references to another horror mod we've covered on 10 things, Hypno's Lullaby. During the song My Friend, Spinell sings a short motif from the song Monochrome. <laughs> And the second reference is a little less subtle, being Jake the Dog's up animation looking like gold from the same song. Alright, now let's actually talk about Dusk Till Dawn. Dusk Till Dawn is a single song concept and mod combo produced by Jake Neutron. The mod takes place in the world of Generation 4 My Little Pony, where Pibby and Boyfriend search for survivors of the corruption. Boyfriend stumbles upon a downtrodden Twilight Sparkle, and during their conversation are interrupted by a falling mass of corruption. Boyfriend then wraps the corrupted Twilight alongside Pinkie Pie in an attempt to return her from the darkness. Jake Neutron probably 
probably went all out on this mod concept because their earliest animations are My Little Pony. They even mention how they already had the body rigs for the characters. The mod's art style reflects the source material very closely, and another detail to note is that Twilight and Pinky have slippers on because the corruption is contact-based. If the player beats Dusk Till Dawn on hard, they're treated to an extra cutscene at the end of the song. This word jumble and the Morse code being played in the background is the first step in Dusk Till Dawn's ARG, or alternate reality game. To start, translating the Morse code into written text reveals the message, this is a link, decode it to begin. Now the jumble text here shown is obviously a cipher, and the most common cipher is a Caesar or shift cipher, where the letters are moved up or down the alphabet on a numeric value. Shifting the letters six spaces down reveals a shortened YouTube link that leads to a private video uploaded by the mod's creator, confirming this is the solution. From there, we're treated to a series of cryptic lamenting messages, and what appears to be a teaser for the upcoming phase three of whatever Jake is planning for Pibby. Applying the cipher to the video's unintelligible description reads, will happen, happening, happened, in addition to an incomplete URL. Combining the deciphered code with a Google Drive URL brings us to three files shared by Jake Neutron, playme.png, playmetehe.png, and playmelast.wave. I tried playing these through a spectrogram to audio converter and it sounded like doo-doo, but from a visual perspective, this segment here looks like it can be interpreted as Morse code. After some trial and error, I found it translated to, yes, we're working on more. The Morse code in Play Me Last translate to, this is the end, stay tuned for more. With this, and the inclusion of all the concept characters in the Phase 3 trailer, it's likely this isn't the last time Jake Neutron is going to make their creations more than just concepts. On April 1st of this year, Pibby was seen numerous times throughout the Adult Swim special broadcast live stream on YouTube. They thankfully compiled all of the corruption appearances into a single video after the broadcast. The corruption in this case isn't destroying cancelled and finished shows, but is following Pibby throughout the different programs on Adult Swim, including the live-action Eric Andre show. It's unknown if this means that Learning with Pibby is going to become its own show or special, but this likely signals that Adult Swim isn't finished with the IP. Another thing to know is that Pibby is seen traveling with Bun Bun, who we saw get consumed by the corruption in the initial trailer, perhaps implying that it's possible to reclaim those who have been taken. Bun Bun seems to almost enjoy the chaos the corruption brings, much to Pibby's dismay, and even seems to be the cause of it at certain points. And that's 10 things about Pibby corruption I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making- Do you hear that? Oh no. Oh!